Uh, I was going to set up a smeltery, that's right. I had just gotten clay, gravel, and sand, so I was going to set myself up a smeltery. Do I die immediately from an unknown reason? No, I don't. Okay, cool. I think downstairs I had a bed, is that right? I certainly don't have a bed up here yet, do I? Hello? Oh! Some of these things have grown, that's good. And I do have a bed, so we'll sleep through the night. Where's my hoe? There's my hoe. It looks different in Sfax, so I sometimes miss where the hoe is. I'm more nervous than I was starting out, because if you die starting out, like, oh well. If you die after you've put this much effort into something, it's, it seems more serious, you know? I have to figure out what to do with the corn at some point, but at this point, I guess I'm just breeding corn. I'm sitting here furiously clicking on my mouse. I don't know if you can hear that over the music. There we go. I got it in there, but I don't know if it got it in there immediately enough. <laughs> uh, there's the clay. That's good. that. I don't like that sound. Oh, you'll notice that I got the map working, and it's showing me all the mobs. Um, I don't know, let me know in chat if you think that's cheating. I could, I could disable the mobs, it's quite easy to do. Um, uh, right here. I could just click that away, and then it wouldn't show me the mobs. Um, uh, but frankly, on hardcore, I'm really kind of worried. <laughs> now, is there a way to zoom the map? What about keypad plus and keypad minus? There we go. Okay. So now, hopefully, I can zoom in on the map. Yay! That's probably the zoom level that I want. I could also turn off caves if you think it's cheating, so just let me know. So, I just heard a noise. Sounded like something breathing fire, maybe? <laughs> oh, look, there's a tree out there. So if I'm going to have room to build a smeltery, I think I'm going to have to expand this area here. So I'll go ahead and make it one bigger, at least. There's some sand. I just re-edited the highlights, so, I mean, I know <laughs> that I did dig up some sand and gravel. There you go. It's not much. We can start it um, turning into... There we go, into grout. It's only 30 grout, that won't get us too far. We can make both sand and gravel. Oh, we do have enough wool to make a bed. Well, let's have a bed down here too then, why not? Okay, and we can make one for upstairs too. So, what we want to make is uh, a pulverizer, I believe. Um, though that makes more sand than gravel, so I guess we do need to make a crusher. Let's find out what we need to make a crusher. Oh, I've also included now the textures for the Ender I.O. machines. So this one's textured now, isn't that nice? So it needs a redstone, it needs two lava buckets, control circuits, and a steel case. Oh, hello. What are you? Ah, uh, that's another flesh lich. Uh, somehow, and I like never run into flesh liches before, not until this playthrough. Hello, flesh lich. Can I hit you? I hit you? Yes, I can. Ha ha. I can hit you and you can't hit me. Maybe you can't hit me, we'll find out.
Okay, so we got some iron now. We need to turn four of this into uh, steel. I can't help but notice I still haven't found any diamonds, so I guess I'm gonna have to mine one further regardless just to find find some diamonds here. So I happen to find some underneath this fossil right away. Or underneath this charged or this quartz ore right away. Oh, I placed them in the wrong place. Once you break them, they go away. You don't get them back. two buckets of lava. So let's start looking for lava here. Looking for lava in all the wrong places. There it is. The wrong place at all. There's some next to it. So that's two buckets of lava. Excellent. I just have to never step there again. Okay, so we've got the control circuits. Two buckets of lava. Control circuits. Steel casing. Redstone in all the corners. We have ourselves a crusher. Excellent. And our bucket's back. Where does the crusher go? Uh, let's put it on the front, sure. Okay. So, then we'll just start crushing some cobblestone. I suppose the fleshlish could actually swim through the lava. Because it's... it's Fire resistant. Okay, so I better block this up. Uh, gray limestone cobblestone. Yeah. Now I'll remember what's going on. Hello, Flash Lich. Can I hit you again? May I hit you again, sir? Yes, I may. And while that's going, we may as well. Increase the size of this yet again. At this point, we're going to have to light it up again. Be very circumspect about that. Oh, huh, I didn't notice that very fast. There we go. Okay, so let's. Oh, hello, Mr. Flesh Lich again. You seem to be glitching through the wall again, so I will hit you again. Ha ha. Yeah. I'll teach you to stay away from me. Probably not. Okay, I'm going to replace this volcanic rock, so I'm just going to break this by hand. Just be really safe. Oh, okay, that's going to be a problem. Boy, the bats are just dying left and right. Something out there they really like flying into. It kills them. Do this from the right angle. I'll lose this ore, but that's not a big deal. Let's break it really slowly. And then as soon as we're ready, we can place a block. Nope, and we don't need to. Okay. We'll try and do the same thing here. We know there's a block there. We, to, we can place a block here. Or above, or both. 
this time we were doing it from the wrong side before was the problem. Okay, now that's fine. And then similarly here, hide under here. Oh, so there was a, there was a junk pile there. So we need to break the junk pile. Hello, kitten. My kitten has shown up. I don't see any monsters there either on the radar, so maybe I'm relatively safe here doing this. Now I need a pickaxe. Uh, there was some stuff in it. There we go. Okay. Close that up. Yes. Okay. And then similarly here. That's volcanic rock too, then we'll pick one up as soon as we've mined it, and we can use that to oh, but there might be a third one that we need. Is there a third one? No, it's just the two. So that and that. There we go. Okay, cool. Whew. That was the dangerous part. Okay, we have a whole bunch of seared bricks here. So let's go ahead and start making an area for the smeltery. Oops, so we Torches down here. We want some here. There. There we go. That's all of our torches. There's some coal in the wall over there, so we'll be fine. Need a drain, at least one drain. I need at least one controller. Okay, so the controller we probably want. Let's see here. Yeah, I think we're probably going to be controlling it from this side, so there we've got a controller. We'll probably be pouring stuff out this side, so we'll put a small tree drain here. It's looking good. Oh, looks like this is finished. So we'll take half of this gravel and turn it into sand. How are we doing for power, by the way? Could use some more lava. So I need to see if I have any glass. Looks like I don't have any glass. So at least one of these sand. I'm gonna need to cook up. There we go, one glass. That we can make a certain tank. Da, sear tank. Sear tank. We want to get an extra controller. Let's put it on this side since the lava's over here. From the other side, try and pump the lava in. Hello! We decide to try and pump the lava into here, and we'll need to bring it from over this direction, so that's where we'll put the tank. And we're also going to need a casting basin. And actually, we need the casting table more importantly first. Oops. Okay. So we'll make the casting table first. There we go. We'll need a faucet. Faucet. Excellent. Okay. And so then what? The rest of it? We're gonna want another drain eventually. I don't think this is gonna run us out of seared bricks to do it this way. Okay, so there's another smeltery drain. Put it next to this one. So, here we go. And so then we need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We need eight more smeltery blocks. Crush this cobblestone so we have an even number of gravel and sand.
so we got silver, Surtis Quartz. I wish we could make the darn thing out of Surtis Quartz. We have so much of it. More silver. Yellowite. Can't make it out of Yellowite. Can't make it out of Redstone. Can't make it out of Cinnabar. Can't make it out of any of these things. They're useless. Useless, I tell you. There we go. Ta-da. Excellent. Now we need some lava. Lava. Any more lava? There's some more lava. Oh, what? What happened there? Maybe I didn't actually pick up the lava that I thought I picked up? Maybe there's no more reachable lava down there. Well, better kill this fleshless quick, eh? Okay, so the first thing we need to do is make an ink cast. And for that we will need uh, aluminum and copper. It's weird. Copper dust looks like cobblestone. So we've got some aluminum, that's good. As soon as the copper melts, seems to take copper extra time to melt. There we go. Aluminum brass. Pour the aluminum brass out. And there we have an ingot cast. Excellent. So now we can start melting down uh, compressed cobblestone to make a bigger smeltery. And the compressed cobblestone melts just as fast as regular cobblestone, which means that this, you can get this done much quicker this way. I wonder if I should actually do an even number of compressed cobblestone. So put one more in there. Okay, there we go. We've got seared stone. A number of blocks and ingots, actually. So we can just pour them out here. They turn into seared bricks. It's really neat the way that the bricks show up the other direction in the ingot cast, but they still pretty much fill it. That's weird. Now we should have enough to make that casting basin I was talking about. Now that we're going to use it for this, because if you make the casting, if you pour this stuff into the casting basin, you get something you can use for a smelter, but it looks different, and I find that annoying. So, should probably put the torch there. I also need to faucet. Forget about that. He's just glitching all over the place over there. Look at that damn glitch. There, there, there. That's it, huh? Wow. Yeah, this, uh... Using compressed cobble does not create an awful lot of bricks, but we can go ahead and make some more. We've got so much cobble here, we could probably make some double compressed cobble. There's some coal over here, and I need some coal for smelting things since I've run out of lava. Making scary, scary noises. Plus, it's thundering. I wonder if I can sleep. Go to sleep. Go to bed. I may not rest now. There are monsters behind me. I cannot sleep. 
that's the same noise, actually, that, uh, yeah, that's the same noise that the, uh, that Kim and Duncan were hearing, and they, uh... Yeah, sounds like he's saying yogurt. So that must be something from Thermal Expansion, or Buildcraft, or, I'm trying to think what other mods they have in that. Not a whole lot of mods, they really don't have a whole lot of mods there. Personally, I think it was that thing they saw that looked like a blaze. It wasn't a blaze. Probably it's a blitz, I think? I think there's something called a blitz. cobblestone. There we go. And I can finish mining out the walls here. It looks like we've got quite a bit of seared stone now. That's good. Hopefully we can, uh... Oh! Wrong thing! Why were you on the bottom? Probably where we'll stop until we can actually automate this process a little better. It's not like we are smelting large amounts of metal, so we don't have large amounts of metal to smelt, and we don't have large amounts of lava to do it with either. Okay, there we go. Actually, I'll tell you what, I think we're gonna want a smeltery drain over here, so we can put things into the smeltery in buckets. So we can make obsidian, for instance. We have to take it out. So that means two more. And we're going to want to change this block here, I think, to... There we go. It is certainly scary, especially with the, all that thunder going on in the ground background. Wow. Well, I can't sleep yet. It is excellent. We can melt it in the smeltery. A small amount of molten tin. There are so many monsters out there. I think it's the water just drives them to this area. I mean, look at that. Look at this. Is there, there? There's all kinds of stuff. Yeah, I think there's lava over here. Hmm. I need to keep mining. And I actually want to mine where I don't see any monsters. Oh, that's right. I was cooking this up so I can finish finish the walls in this little area. It really sounds like he's burping. You know, it's like the devil burping. Now that we have a smeltery, we can turn some of our ores into iron. Unfortunately, I don't think we can do it with any of the ones that we have the most of, like lead and... I don't know. We'll see. Mm, 
near near proximity of this extremely hot smelter has not kept that from freezing over. It's kind of hilarious. Okay, so we're going to see if we can make either lead or silver into buckets. Okay. A bucket. Can be made out of iron and copper. Yeah, tin, manganese, and bronze, and potassium, and Damascus steel, and angmalin, and steel, and exomite, and neotitite, and desichalcus, and promethium, and deep iron, and infoscolium, and block steel, and lower clays, and astral silver, and carmot, and men infusing it, super grassium, and silver, and all kinds of stuff we don't have, and selling gallon, and mantia, and altaris, and tartarite, and ignatius, and shadow iron, and let me write midasium, and laraxeries, and circulates, and alterites, and calendrites, and vulcanite, and sanguinite, and shadow steel, and whatever the heck that is, and amardrine, and zinc, silver, silver! Yes, we can make it out of silver. Warning, warning, this video is almost over. Warning, warning, it's time to choose another one. This has gone on far too long, time to wake up and sing along. Warning, warning, this video is over now.